Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Poll fever grips India's Karnataka as Amit Shah and Rahul Gandhi hit campaign trail. Pakistan crisis deep enough to attract military takeover warns former PM Abbasi. And authorities in Nepal capture Mani Tetigris brought to Central Zoo. And now for all the details, India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party and the opposition Congress on Monday intensified campaigning ahead of the elections in Karnataka. India's Home Minister and senior BJP leader Amit Shah held a series of grand road shows in the southern state while thousands of people gathered swaying the BJP flags. The party's mega election campaign is likely to get a further boost with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit later this week. Bharatiya Janata Party ko chumne ja rahi hai. Congress ko nishchit rup se karari har milegi aur Modi ji ke netrutho mein Karnatak mein phir se ek baar Meanwhile, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi interacted with sugarcane farmers and addressed a public gathering in Bilagavi. Apart from BJP and the Congress, the regional Janata Dal Secular Party is the main contender in Karnataka. The voting will be held on May 10th and the results will be announced on the 13th of May. And now when Khalistan sympathizer Amrit Pal Singh has been arrested and lodged in the Dibrugarh jail in India's Assam, central agencies will interrogate him to establish his links with Pakistani spy agency ISI and attempts to disturb communal peace in Punjab bordering Pakistan. The arrest on Sunday came after the 30-year-old separatist leader was cornered following a month-long hunt. His rise as a radical preacher had stoked fears of return to violence that killed thousands of people in the 1980s and early 1990s during a Sikh insurgency. He has been arrested under the National Security Act, which allows for those deemed a threat to national security to be detained without charge for up to a year. A senior official said the Punjab police and the central agencies worked in tandem to nab him and he had no choice. He was absconding from last about uh, more than one month. Special operation was launched. A joint operation was conducted by Amritsar Police and Intelligence Wing of Punjab Police. He was located in Village Rode based on operational inputs by Punjab Police and he was surrounded from all sides. The village was surrounded by Punjab Police. Since he was uh, inside a Gurdwara Sahab, so to maintain sanctity of Gurdwara Sahab is supreme for everyone. So to maintain sanctity, the police did not enter the Gurdwara Sahib. Well, Pakistan's former PM and ruling PMLN party leader Shahid Khakan Abbasi has warned that the current economic and political crisis in the country has all the makings of attracting a military takeover. Abbasi told local media that Pakistan has never witnessed a more severe economic and political situation before. In much less severe circumstances, the military has taken over. His remarks come as the Supreme Court has ordered elections in the provinces of Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, but PM Shehbaz Sharif's government has said it is not economically viable to hold snap polls in the two provinces where former leader Imran Khan had dissolved the local governments this year. Pakistan is facing an acute balance of payment crisis while talks with the IMF for a loan have so far yielded no results. And a talk employees in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir recently staged a sit-in protest to demand regularization and increment in their salaries. They also raised concern over the non-payment of their salaries for the past five to six months. A report. Ad hoc employees in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir recently staged a sit-in protest against non-payment of their salaries and to demand regularization. They said authorities had promised to bring about a legislation to regularize them months ago. But the bill has still not been tabled in the local assembly. The protesters said several of them, despite being qualified for regularization, have been terminated due to absence of any policies. So, our government has been able to do this. First of all, we have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. جن کو ٹرمینیٹ کر دیا گیا ہے فیل فور آرڈر کر کے ان کو دوبارہ نوکیوں پہ بال کیا جائے اور دوسرا مارا مطالبہ یہ ہے کہ جلد از جلد 
असम्बली फ्लोर के ऊपर वो बिल ला कर कानून साजी की शक्ल दी जाए ताकि लोगों का मुस्तबिल महफूज हो सके रमजान का महीना है और हम लोगों को छः छः महीनों से तनख्वाही नहीं मिली और फिर अचानक ये इतना बड़ा हमारा मुआशी कतल हमारे छोटे बच्चे हैं पढ़ रहे हैं जैसे मैं सर अपनी बात करूँ तो मैं मेरी मेडिसन ही इतनी एक्सपेंसिव है कि आप देख लीजिए कि कितनी ट्रांसप्लांट की मेडिसन कितनी ज़्यादा महंगी है The protesters blamed that this is not the case in Pakistan, where scores of employees have been regularized as per proper policies. But the people in the illegally occupied region still do not have access to equal rights and have to face exploitation. Thousands of Sri Lankans and many religious groups held a protest in Colombo city demanding justice on the fourth anniversary of the deadly 2019 Easter Sunday bombings that killed over 260 people. The blast claimed by a militant group Islamic State targeted three churches and three luxury hotels, shocking the country and shattering a decade of relative peace after the end of a 25-year civil war. The main anniversary event was led by the Bishop of Colombo, Cardinal Malcolm Ranjit, who criticized successive governments for not exposing investigations into the attacks and those responsible for it alluding that their contents may be harmful to those in power ape ape moragasim deviyanta he nawa yuktiya sadharnatwe wenuwen ape cardinal thuma etlu ape poojaka pakshe sielu denama kadeyutu karagena yanawa e unat kiyanna dukai adawanutura apita yuktiyak sadharnatwayak The bombings triggered a political storm as the then president, Maitri Pala Sirisena, and Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe were blamed for their inability to prevent the attacks, despite prior intelligence being made available. And authorities in Nepal on Sunday brought a man-eater tigress to the central zoo as part of rehabilitation after the carnivore last week killed a woman in Kanchanpur district. Named as Maharani, the tigress was captured after mobilizing four elephants along with a team of experts in the wetlands of Kanchanpur. Experts said leaving it on the loose would have further endangered human lives. Central Zoo authorities are now planning to couple up the 5-year-old tigress with a 12-year-old male tiger named Maharaja the King. Reason hadu ko aile bag bade ko chabanu na pehla banda. Tamai ko 10 barsa gadi bardiya kai kura gada khel tamai ko jama 18 ota lagbhag bag theo aile hadu ko 125 ota cha. 125 ota lai lagbhag खाने आहारा अन्य बसने हैविटे तो अली का तकाम भाई की दस लाख से मोड़े तेरे बारे उगाऊं तेरा निश्चित एक बार देखिए रस। And hundreds of Hindu devotees gathered at a temple in India's Madurai city to take part in a flag hoisting ceremony as part of the annual Chitrai festival on Sunday. The festival is widely celebrated by people in southern India. As per the tradition, the ceremony of Kodi Yatram or the holy flag hoisting took place inside the Minakshi Amman temple. Priests performed rituals and chanted prayers as devotees offered prayers with adoration. The festival has six major events that would take place over the span of the next 15 days. The most popular is the symbolic wedding of the goddess Minakshi and god Sundareswarar, which attracts big crowds from across the Tamil Nadu state. Nikki Kodiyetram, Minakshi Tirukalliyanu thega na Kodiyetram katha larnda naran thikku vegu marchaniya. And the Tirukalliyanu thikku ana modernal Nikki Kodiyetram drade. Ada nanga pakra thega katha lar elmani kulla inga vandhu. वंदा इंगे ये लल्ला को कोड़ी जनगल कोड़ी रखा अंदर संदोष शॉ इंगल के इंगे विट कल्याणों आप इंद्र और उत्तर दी ले नांगे ये लल्ला रूमे अंदर कोड़ी ये तथा पात पाते रुम्बा अलादे उलग मक्कल ये लल्ला रूमे गुरु पैर चीने के ये लल्ला रूमे सागल आश्चर्यमो कड़े करो मीनाक्षी तिरुवर Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.